I am Dr. Rena Chawla, and today I thought we would discuss very briefly about uh, intrauterine devices. So we know there are three generations of devices. The first is the Tippies do for the non-medicated devices, which are outdated. We don't even have them; they're not available anymore. The second generation are the copper-containing devices, and I have two, two two as an example. One is the Copper T three eighty A, which is available by the government of India, which can be used for a duration of ten years, and we have the multi-load. Or the Copper T three seventy five, which we also have here, it's also available by the government of India, and this is used for duration of five years. We also have the third generation of um, intrauterine devices. You can see here, this is the LNG or levo nonagesture containing intrauterine device, also called very commonly available by the name of Mirina. Now, when we insert a copper T, okay, uh, you uh, so I will be showing you insertion of a copper T, okay, maybe the copper T three eighty. A. Now, when we uh, talk about insertion of a copper T, it is usually done either post menstrually or following an abortion post abortally. It can also be done following delivery, that is post partum copper T insertion. It can also be done concomitantly. It can be inserted at the time of a cesarean section. Now, let us see how we insert. If a patient comes to us post menstrually, how we insert a copper T. So these are the instruments that are required. We have a sim speculum. Okay, you can see this is a sim speculum. We have an anterior vaginal wall retractor. So we insert the speculum in the vagina, and we retract the anterior vaginal wall with the AV retractor, and then we visualize the cervix. After visualizing the cervix, we hold the cervix with the vulvalum. We hold the anterior lip of the cervix with the vulvalum, and we visualize the cervix. Okay. Of course, before all this, we have to paint and drape the woman. And um, uh, paint the cervix uh, with any antiseptic solution. After visualizing the cervix, very importantly, we use this instrument. This is called a uterine sound to measure the length of the of the uterus. The utero cervical length is measured, which is very very important because whatever measurement we get on the sound, accordingly we have to adjust that length on the copper T. So this is the copper T. Uh, coming back to the copper T, the copper T has several parts. This is the phalange, the blue thing you see. It's a phalange, and this is what is used to adjust the copper, the length depending on the uterine sound. Then we have a plunger. We have the main copper T, which you can see on top, and we have the inserter, which is a tubular device. Now, very important to remember when inserting a copper T, we use the no touch technique to load the arms of the copper T inside the inserter. Okay, so I will show you how that is done. Okay, so we take the plunger out. We just open it from the bottom. We take the plunger out. We insert the plunger inside. Okay, and from the top, we ins we using our hands, we insert the arms of the copper T inside the. So the the arms are loaded. Without taking the copper T outside, this is to maintain sterility and avoid infections. You can see that the arms have been loaded inside the inserter. So once the arms are inserted, are loaded inside the inserter, we take the whole apparatus out. Okay, and depending on the length of the uterine sound, we adjust the phalange to that much length of the uterine cavity, depending on the length of the uterus. Based on the sound, we then insert the this apparatus inside the uterus through the external os, through the internal os, and then we push the plunger inside. Once we push the plunger inside, the copper T will open up as is seen, and then we will draw both the plunger and the inserter. So this is how we load a or how we uh, uh, introduce a copper T inside. So I hope that video was useful. As I said, the other two properties are the property three seventy five and the Mirena. Thank you. Good.